So Venn diagrams again, but this time we're looking at something called the complement. Uh, now this is a very important idea in, um, in probability. Now you've already seen the idea of a complement before. Uh, for instance, right angle triangle. Uh, that's say 70 degrees. And you know that the complementary angle to 70 degrees, that is two angles that add up to together, 70 and 20. So they're complementary angles. And you've also seen supplementary angles. Okay, so there's the use of the word complementary in a way. But that's not, it, it's a similar related idea, but it's got nothing to do with angles. It's got nothing to do with the number 90. Okay, let's look at the complement. The easiest way to explain the complement when it comes to probability is this word. Not. Okay. If you, you think of the complement as being the word not, you can't really go too far wrong. So if I say, what's the probability a dash? Now the dash stands for complement. So if you look at that, you should realise that what that actually says is what's the probability that something is not in set A? Okay. Probability that it's not in set A. And you guys can probably work that out pretty quickly because we can see here that 15 people are in set A. We can see that there's 28 people all together. So that means that 13 people, I did some quick maths in my head, the 13 people aren't in set A. So the probability of not being in set A is 13 minus 28. Sorry, 13 over 28. Now I've done that all in my head and speaking because there's also a second way to do this. And it's that second way that I want to talk about because I want us to have that skill. Okay, so the probability of somebody either being in A or not being in A is equal to 1. Think about that for a moment. So the probability, if, I, if I've got a class of 28 kids and I say to them, okay, who in this room either plays rugby or doesn't play rugby? How many people are going to put up their hands? Everybody. Everybody's going to put up their hands. And that's, that's what our key idea is. The probability that something is not in set A will be equal to 1 minus the probability that it is in set A. Okay, so as long as those events are complements, that is either you're in this one or you're in this one, you can't be somewhere else, then the probability of the complement is equal to 1 minus the thing. And from there it's fairly simple to work out. We know that the probability of A, A, there's 15 people in A, so that's going to be 15 over the total, which is 28. And then you guys can figure that out, but 1 minus 15 over 28 is 13 over 28. Now this has wide-ranging expectation, uh, wide-ranging um, applications. So, for instance, forget about Venn diagrams for a second. Let's say I said, alright, there's a 70% chance of rain tomorrow. Then you all immediately know, whether, you're even, whether you knew this formula or not, that there's a 30% chance of not rain. Because something has to happen. Okay, we can talk about snow and all the rest of it. But considering that it's either rain or not rain, 70% chance of rain, then there's a 30% chance of not rain. And we can show that by probability of rain, not rain, is equal to 1 minus the probability of rain. That's all we're saying here. That's the complement. Okay, um, there's Venn diagrams, the complement, 1 minus something equals the complement of it. Thanks guys.